Virtual and augmented reality, or VR and AR, are next-generation display systems that strive to create unprecedented user experiences by matching the perceptual capabilities of the human visual system. However, the necessary bandwidth for rendering, streaming and displaying this type of data is not yet possible with current technology. Foveated graphics has emerged as a suite of techniques that exploits the eccentricity-dependent acuity of human vision to minimise bandwidth in an imperceptible manner. In a VR-AR system, this is often implemented using gaze-contingent rendering, shading, compression or display. While all of these methods build on the insight that the retina and attached ganglion cells have a limited ability to sense spatial temporal changes in light, research also shows that our perceptual abilities are also dependent on higher level cognitive processing. In fact, we rarely see what we are looking at unless we direct enough cognitive resources, explaining many phenomena like change blindness. Visual attention refers to a set of cognitive operations that help us selectively process the vast amounts of information with which we are confronted, allowing us to focus on certain location or aspect of a visual scene while ignoring others. Most often we direct our attention overtly by moving our eyes towards a location, but we can also direct attention to an area in the periphery without moving our eyes, covertly, via a mental shift. Several studies have demonstrated that increasing the amount of attention allocated to a visual task can enhance performance. In a similar manner, dividing attention between tasks reduces this enhancement effect, including contrast sensitivity, visual acuity, and speed of information accrual. However, all existing models of contrast sensitivity are built on experiments where users are asked to covertly direct their visual attention to the discrimination task in the periphery. Thus, for most scenarios in the real world and VR-AR, where our attention is allocated overtly at our gaze position, we are likely overestimating the capabilities of human perception in the periphery. Consequently, current efficacies of foveated graphics are too conservative for most real use cases. In this paper, we propose to account for the effect of covert attention when modelling human contrast sensitivity. To this goal, we investigate the effect of modulating the amount of attention allocated to the contrast discrimination task in the periphery by forcing attention to the fovea with a visually demanding task. Specifically, we compare the standard approach to measuring contrast sensitivity, where a low amount of attention is directed to the fovea, referred to as the low condition in the paper, to scenarios where part or most of the attention is directed there, referred to as medium and high foveal attention conditions. We show that increasing attention in the fovea increases peripheral contrast discrimination thresholds significantly, particularly at higher eccentricities, and introduce the first eccentricity-dependent attention-aware model of contrast sensitivity. We then motivate the development of future foveation models with another user study, showing that tolerance for foveation in the periphery could be higher when the user is concentrating on a task in the fovea. Finally, we use our model to predict potential bandwidth saving factors compared to existing foveated models. As such, this work forms an enabling foundation for new foveated graphics approaches that exploit higher level cognitive processing effects of human vision.